Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our logging and tracing feature in our UpRef software. So when we're doing our tuning, we need to figure out where we're at in our tables. We need to know what the base fuel schedule is going to be at or our calculated load, engine RPM or air fuel, coolant temperature, all kinds of sensor data. We need to know what it's going to be at when we're operating our engine or to do any kind of actual tuning. If we don't have data, we'll be making our changes blindly into the table and we're going to find that the results are really terrible. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the logging feature in this video as well as the tracing feature. Now the tracing feature is going to be used in conjunction with the logging. So when we turn the logging on, we'll find that we can then trace through the table with a little cursor and figure out the exact position where we're at and not have to look at the data log. We can capture the data and then review that in a separate software program, I'm going to be showing you uh, what I use to review my data logs in and kind of going through a data log so you see that process. We're also going to be taking a look at a real-time tuning. This is another really awesome feature in our software. Some tables we're able to do real-time editing in. So if we make a change in the table, we don't have to hard flash the ECU. We're going to find that our uh, fuel target table or air fuel target table and our fuel compensation table are going to be two tables that we can work with in the real-time mode. And we're able to make those changes when we're doing our fuel tuning and we can do them very quickly and very accurately. So I'll be walking you through that process as well. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check both these out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our logging and tracing feature, as well as taking a look at our real-time tuning feature a little bit later on in the video. Before we go and do that, I'm gonna go over what I have going on here in my UpRev software. We can see at the top it's showing ECU ready. Now this is gonna be if we have the vehicle powered on and we have our UpRev cable plugged into the OB2 port, we have that plugged into our laptop, and we can see the status here. Now, I don't have a vehicle that I'm connected to at the moment. I actually have a Nissan Titan ECU that's on a special bench flasher that it's allowing me to power everything up, and I'm able to do this video here without having a car present. Um, so if we look here, um, just kind of going over some real basic things, our ECU license is showing stock ECU. I have not licensed it yet, we're able to use our logging and tracing feature without doing the licensing. Um, we, have to use, we have to license in order to use the real-time tuning. Um, I'll be going over that again a little bit later in the video. So at this point in time, we're on a stock ECU. Now, this ECU is from a Nissan Titan. We actually can see the ECU part number here is showing on the screen. I simply went in and I copied this part number. I went into the Get Tune and Stock Files to the My ROM. I pasted that. I hit Search. It searched the database from UpRev. We came back with these two files. Now I save the files, and that's actually what I have open right here. So this file is from a Nissan Titan, and it's pretty much going to be the same things that we have already talked about and looked at in the other training videos up to this point. So they're not as a, not a whole lot different uh, settings in here um, than what we've already we just discovered and, 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 and talked about. So let's jump into working with our logging and tracing feature. Now this is going to be something that is vital in your tuning process. You are not going to be able to make any kind of accurate changes in any of these tables here unless you can log certain key parameters such as your air fuel or your ignition timing or your base fuel schedule. Um, you're going to be able to really understand what's going on when you're riding in a table um, by reviewing a data log. Let's jump in here to logging and tracing. Let's click this. Now when I click that button or that tab, it's going to be opening up this window. This window is going to be used to take our actual data logs in. We can see here on the right hand side, we have channels that we have selected or can select um, in this list. We see anything that's checked is going to be logged. Anything that's unchecked is not going to be logged. So what we find here that's going to be checked right off the bat, this is some of the more important data 